Hey guys, welcome to the money news video. It's gonna be the quickest one ever because we're not gonna do news because I just did a video, which is enough news for now. I uh, hope you catch it. I uh, still don't know what it's titled, but uh, it'll be something about doom and gloom trucking. It's all over, no one's gonna survive because um, it's just a spoof on the experts out there. So it should, it'll load up before this one. So hopefully you already watched it and that's your news for the week. So let's get right to the money part. This will be quick. Not much for my kid to edit. Hold on, let me move the camera. And as mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to break it all down into a cost per mile. I'm going to start doing that every week. So keep it real. And hopefully this will help you even more. I try my best to help you. This channel is to help you. I'm not trying to build a YouTube channel. I'm not trying to get lots of viewers. I'm just trying to pass on what little bit of knowledge I have in my pea brain from being around in this industry probably too long. So here we go, you ready? Uh, not much changes. Here's truly never leaves his box. So we went from Blytheville, Arkansas to Rockford, Illinois, paid me $1,586.65 at 310 a mile to me uh, on 511 miles. If this is your first video, bah, 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 English, it's a, it's a tough language. If this is your first video and you just Decided to watch it because you watched my last one. Welcome. We do this every week. These numbers are to me after CRST takes 25% of the things they take 25% of, which is line haul and stop pay only. You get all the fuel surcharge, tarp pay, and any other assorial charges. Next load, we then deadheaded 93 miles to Summit, Illinois. Oh, that was two coils. I know why you guys like to know when I'm hauling. That was uh, two coils, 41,000 pounds. We then deadheaded, it's all right, 93 miles. Summit, Illinois, picked up a load of roofing shingles, 43,000 pounds. Paid me $885.55 at 255 a mile on 347 miles. We then deadheaded 90 miles to Alton, Illinois. Picked up uh, a load of 46-foot round bar at 44,000 pounds. Took that to Franklin Park, Illinois, paid me $902.72 a mile, not a mile, $902.72 at $3.18 a mile, 283 miles. Then deadheaded uh, 47 miles to Franklin, no, to Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, just right above Chicago, right on the Wisconsin line. Never went that far into Wisconsin. I could have thrown a rock and hit Illinois at pretty much any time. So right there on the border. Picked up four skidded coils at 42,000 pounds. Took it to Kansas City, Missouri. Paid me $1,618.98 at 303 a mile on 503 miles. So we bring uh, the total uh, for the week gross to the truck, $4,993.90. Uh, we had a total loaded miles of 1,674 loaded miles. Empty miles, we had 230. Let's do the uh, cost week, and this is how we'll get our cost per mile in a minute. So my CRST deductions is $375 a week. That is my trailer rent, my base plates, bobtail insurance, quail comm, trans flow, all the little stuff. All in, $375 a week. I have $1,546.98 of fuel before discounts. When they roll through the system, that will drop $100-ish, somewhere in there. Paid $35 in two reserve parkings. I did a truck wash of $95.34. Uh, bought some fuel filters. Man, I got robbed on fuel filters. I am so good about checking, but somehow I missed the fine print. I can't believe it. They actually said Fleet Guard in a number. They print... I didn't, it, that's got to be copyright infringement. It said registered trademark. Then I went back and looked and it said like OEM, but not OEM. They wouldn't even fit on my truck. What a joke. No returns, $200 down the toilet. So I had to buy some new fuel filters. Also had to buy a breather filter, which I'm actually doing the breather filter delete. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a video on that. It's just a different breather filter. Uh, so where are we at? So filters, $214.66. The Breather Delete filter, $133.06. QuickBooks, $55. That's office stuff. AMS oil, $463.31 for oil, for an oil change in the truck. Yes, that's very expensive. Most people don't spend that on oil, but I do. It's another topic for another day. And 
Oh, some push to connect air fittings. I went up to Freightliner and bought. I was talking to the, one of the managers of Freightliner about a truck and he said uh, he was gonna have a salesman call me. Never did call me. It's gotta be a God thing. I just, I go back and forth. I think I'm just gonna hold with Ellie cause uh, I think I'm gonna rebuild it. I may be getting out of trucking anyways, you guys know that. So I think that's just God's hands and things. He doesn't let salesmen call me. Same thing happened when I was gonna buy a trailer back last year. Uh, this, but, uh, I'm small potatoes anyway. Just couldn't get salesmen to talk to me. So, um, even now, goldfish. I've seen them over here. These are the wives, the wife, wives. No, just one. I don't want any more than that. One is enough. A salesman just never would call me, man. That's got to be God doing his thing, you know, keeping care of, keeping track of his boy. I'm making sure I don't do stupid stuff because I will. I can do that. No problem. So, uh, push to connects, 2568. Subtract all that. We netted $2,049.87. Probably the lowest week I've had in quite a while. If you guys watch the videos, usually my profits three, four, five, sometimes $6,000. We didn't run that much. So, that was kind of a good video to start this next step. We're going to try to include this. We're going to do cost per mile, how you come up with it, and why you need to monitor it, and actually see what you're making compared to a company guy, I guess. So, Basically, this is real simple. What you're gonna do is all those expenses I just read off to you, the CRST deductions all the way to those push to the next. You add all that up, that gives me $2,944.03. You take that amount and divide it by the miles you ran that week. So I had, and you'll do your empty miles on this one too. So 1,674 loaded miles, 230 empty miles, gives me a total miles of $1,904. You divide that, you divide 2944.03 by $1,904, you get $1.54 is my cost per mile to run. And now that, I ain't got a truck payment, okay? Not everybody may have been buying this oil, whatever, but th th these are real world expenses. You're going to have oil changes. Maybe you might have cut up, save 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever, but this is a pretty good figure. So right off the bat, $1.54 a mile with no truck payment. That's a real world figure. I didn't run that hard this week. Usually my cost to run my truck is closer to the 90 cent to $1.10 a mile. A little higher this week because we didn't really work that hard. Uh, short week, you know, Monday to Friday. That's my normal week, but we weren't out killing it this week. But if it, my cost is $1.54 a mile, I can't haul $1.30 a mile up freight can i no i cannot and nor can you or any of the other flip-flops out there trying to do it so what did i average this week you take all of those you take your uh your gross and you divide it by the miles you ran uh and that gives me a two dollar 98 cent a mile is what i averaged this week so minus so you take two ninety eight, you minus a dollar fifty four. My profit was a dollar forty four a mile after expenses. So, what's your company guy? Fifty sixty cents a mile. We're doing double and a half a company driver. We're doing all right. Things are okay. Um, but that you got to do that every week. You got to add up your cost per mile. See what it's costing you to run your truck. And uh, if you know your cost per mile last week or weekly after you do this a while, you learn real quick that. Um, you can only run for so much. Now I did just for fun. I factored in, let's say you got a $3,000 a month truck payment. I can't imagine having some, but I hear guys out there got three, four, even more $5,000 a month truck payment. So I just did a 3,000 one. Hopefully it's less than that, but that would be $650 a week. So I added that to the $2,944 worth of operating costs that you would still have to run a truck, add a truck payment, break it down by the week, would bring your weekly expenses to $3,569.03, bringing your cost per mile to $1.87 a mile. Can't even hardly find that on the spot market. Not a good place to be. So $1.87 a mile and you're hauling for two bucks a mile. I was about to go and rate for flatbed stuff, or off. Oh, flatbed stuff. Now, a flatbed on the spot market is still holding in the low twos, 250. Uh, lease customer direct stuff like I'm doing, we're still pushing three, 298. It looks like is what it came out to this week. 
But if you're swinging doors with a big truck payment and your cost per mile is a buck eighty, buck eighty-five a mile to run, and you're hauling two dollar a mile freight, two ten, and that's good. I mean, I'm talking here, guys running for a buck fifty, buck thirty, buck sixty. It doesn't really matter. Even even at a dollar eighty-seven a mile, uh, and you're hauling for two ten a mile, you're making less than a company driver. You're in a bad spot. You just it's not going to work out. It's it's. They're just prolonging the agony. You can't have a dollar ninety a mile and be running for two dollars a mile. You're making ten cents a mile. Why? Why would you do that? You go work for Swift and probably get what they get fifty cents a mile. It's got to be a better deal. And that's all I got. That's the end of the money news video because uh, there is no news. And that's it. We'll see you on the next video. God bless you guys. I hope you guys make it out there and if you don't hey man you fall down seven times you get up eight you know when i first started i failed as an owner operator back in the 90s um i've had to learn everything the hard way and hey i could still fail man yeah, maybe not i'll probably just get out of it i don't know if i would be failed i would just say i've had enough you know just going back and forth on Facebook about this flip-flop out there. I put up a picture. <laughs> I won't go into the whole story, but um, I don't know how long I can be around these these cartoon characters that call themselves truck drivers anymore. It's kind of weighing on your boy. Trucking used to be an awesome thing. Now it's, uh, sometimes I just get tired of seeing the things I see. So uh, who knows? I'll probably keep doing it, but it wouldn't take much for me to say, you know what? Give me my McDonald's application. Let's just try that for a while. All right, y'all. God bless you. Keep your chin up. We'll see you. Bye. Quick edit. I just went back and uh, <clears throat> watched that. If you were quick with your numbers, had your calculator ready, you already caught it. But the truck payment, I did $2,500. Uh, six twenty five a week. I don't know. I might even have said six fifty. dollars I'm not firing on all four cylinders, man. Your boy... Just coming off a nasty 24-hour bug. I apologize. I'm doing my best. But um, I, I I tried to get it down to like an average. I hear 5000 and 25. I mean, truck payment used to be 1000 bucks. you know. Maybe 1500 2000 would be like was really high. So I did $2,500. I, I, I don't think I'd want a $2,500 a month payment. I just, could you make it with that? Yeah, I probably could. But I don't want it hanging over my head. So I did 2500 a month truck payment divided by four, four weeks in a month. You have a week with five months. You get a freebie, a little extra money in your pocket that way when you're figuring this. But it's six twenty-five, and that brought me to the dollar eighty-seven cost per mile with truck payment. If you had all the expenses I just had this week, so some guys are gonna say, "Oh well, I wouldn't buy AMS oil." And no, you don't have to get a truck wash, and you don't have to pay to park. Okay, man, splitting hairs though. Things come up. If you're real, if you're doing this the right way, you're going to count everything. Every time you go to O'Reilly's to get something to work on your truck, shop rags, you got to factor it all in there, man. Uh, it, it all goes into a big mixing pot and the calculator. Math don't lie. So um, I don't I don't run a business based on, well, I think I can do it. No, no, I either know I can do it or I can't do it. And right here, all old school. So this is how I've done it for 30 years, and this is how we do it, all right? This is, my wife's got some big spreadsheet, and she's, she's the office woman. I don't, I'm not allowed to turn the computer on, <laughs> and I don't. I do it all pen and paper, but some sometimes I misspeak, but I did have it wrote down. 625 a week, if you can read that. Anyways, I had it wrote down wrong. I just, I had it wrote down right. Man, I'm not firing on all cylinders. I had it wrote down right. I just said it wrong. All right, y'all, that's it. I wanted to come back and get you that. So um, I'm going to try to incorporate this cost per mile every week. So I think that'll help some of you guys. If you know your cost per mile, when you look at a load that pays this much a mile and your cost per mile, and it's like, I'm only going to make like 40 cents, 50 cents a mile. Is it worth it? Maybe if it'll move you to a better area, but it ain't something you want to run around and do all week. I mean, hey, we ain't in this to get rich, but at the end of the day, we need to make a dollar a mile plus. Even in this crappy week I just had here, plus buying some things I don't normally buy, what do we come at a buck forty-four a mile? We need to make a buck to a buck fifty more a mile, or 
If it's just money, go be a company driver. Get your 50, 60. I see them advertising 70 cents. I know a lot of it's a scam. Recruiters lie. If their mouth's moving, they're lying. They say 70 cents a mile, but 20 cents of it is a fuel bonus you'll never make, a, a safety bonus you'll never make, a mileage bonus you'll never make. So in the real world, as the average SMO right now is running 55 cents a mile it's about your company job, maybe 60 cents. Flatbedding, probably around 60 cents. So if you ain't going to double that, well, like I said earlier, well, maybe I said it in the other video, I'd probably still be an owner operator even if I only made company wages, although it would just show I have a crappy business model or the, or the economy is really bad, uh, just so I didn't have the company politics and BS. But the majority of guys out there, I think if you get right down to it, even though we're not going to be rich and be on lifestyles of the rich and famous, they even have that show anymore. Man, I'm old. Um, we need to make double what a company guy does. It's just not worth the headaches to us and all the extra work. So four minutes just to tell you that I made a mistake and I started rambling about other stuff. My bad. All right, y'all. God bless you. Bye now.